الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على رسوله الكريم وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين ما بعد لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وله الملك وله الحمد وإيه يهميد وهو على كل شيء قدير. I picked her up because she was reaching for me, so I reached for her. But alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salam, surah kareem. I just want to say to you very quickly, subhanallah, right now, while we are worshiping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on this blessed day, know the hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He said, anyone who is performing this salah, who is engaging, alhamdulillah, they are not on hajj, they are here with us. That their reward is nothing except the forgiveness of the sins of the past year and the year to come. I saw this on the internet, many people distributing this hadith. I said, what, what is this about? How can you be forgiven for something you didn't even do it yet? It is talking about the weight of how you make your intention and your worship today. In concert with the largest Muslims gathering, not just to worship ourselves, to worship our background, to worship our status, to worship Allah. Right now, Muslims are in Mecca, Mukarrama. It is the largest migration of human beings annually for religious purposes in the history of humankind. The largest migration every year the Ummah of Rasulullah gathers. Every race, every color, every language, rich, poor, healthy, sick. Wallahi, you need to go and tell your neighbor, do you know what's happening right now? I know you think what's happening is the election. And Hillary Clinton has pneumonia. You think that's what's happening today. What is happening today is the largest migration of people who are saying, La bayk Allahumma la bayk. La bayk Allah sharika laka la bayk. And alhamda wa ni'mata laka wal mulk. Who is the mulk? Where is the ni'mah? Who's in control? And all of this is about love. I know you don't think so. All of this is about love. It is about the love of Allah to have sent us over the millennia. Guides and prophets and messengers, al-anbiya, culminating with Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Because Allah loves us. I know some of us, we don't behave the best. Allah still loves us. Allah has continued to send us kitab over the millennia. Why? The risala from Allah is a love letter to humankind. The love letter from Allah, the Quran, saying to us that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves us. The nabuwa, they come, the prophets come, calling us to Allah. Why? Because we love them. Because they love us. That alhamdulillah, when you think about Ibrahim alayhi salam, he's described as Khalil Allah. He loved Allah. And Allah loved him. When you think about his family, they loved Allah. You, you, come, you, you bring home a, a woman from a Nubian from Egypt, you say, she's going to be my, my wife. Your wife say, if Allah want this, whatever Allah want, I love it. Allah gives a man who over 90 years old a child. Why? Because Allah loved him. He wanted a child. Then Allah says, take him and put him in the desert. Hajjah says, if this is what Allah loves, then I'm okay. Because I love Allah. Ibrahim salam, takes his son Ismail to the mountain. He said, if this is what Allah loves, I love Allah. And Allah returned that love by providing sustenance to Hagar. By providing a, a, a sacrifice for Ismail. 
Alhamdulillah, what happens when Allah loves you is amazing. But what happens to you when you love Allah is even more amazing. And so I want to remind you today, Alhamdulillah, that this Eid is not about, I hear Sheikh Al-Hanuti, your hummock, saying, tell the people, it's not about the animal that you slaughter. It's about your love for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah reminds us in the Quran, it's not the blood or the meat that reaches Allah. It is the love that we have for Allah and our commitment to follow his deen. This is what, alhamdulillah, is all about love. أقول قولي هذا استغفر الله لكم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على رسول الكريم. You'll be gone in three minutes, at least from from me. I'm I'll be done, finished. Brothers and sisters, I pray to Allah سبحانه وتعالى in this blessed day you will seize the opportunity to fill this with love. Do you know there are people in the world right now, they're hungry, they cannot eat. But alhamdulillah, because of people's love for Allah, they sacrifice and they give the whole adhiyah uh, to poor people. There are many people in the world, mostly they eat rice with a little meat in it. Here we eat meat with a little rice around it. I want you in your love, alhamdulillah, for Allah to think about, subhanAllah, how to energize that love to go into your society. If we do not take the lead in loving, shaitan will encourage people to take the lead in hating. Look at the television. Why are so many people watching a moron teach them to hate? Because maybe you and I are not doing enough to love. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi said, you're not a believer. You go to bed with your stomach full and your neighbor's hungry. Some of these, uh, I was going to say white people. Some of these people who are our neighbors, they're hungry. By the way, if you have a diet of kufr, you're malnourished. If your diet is hyper-consumerism, you're malnourished. If you have a diet that, that survives off of your superiority over other people. The Ummah of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has a mandate today. Go out and tell people that we as the Ummah of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, we are feeding more people today. Today is Thanksgiving. You ask people around the world, it's not about a turkey in November. Eid al-Adha is a global thanksgiving where people who have share with people who don't have. Well, alhamdulillah, it comes from our love for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. A man came to me one day in this masjid. He said, Imam, I read in the Bible a lot about love. But I, when, I, when I read the Quran, I don't see much about love. I said, you know what? That's because you don't know Arabic. Because for us, there are many ways to talk about love. The Rasulullah says, I mean, rahmat al alamin. This means he's a mercy to all the worlds. It means he loves. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is al wadud. Allah is the source of love. What are you talking about, man? We spent about an hour talking about hubbillah, love of Allah. I want you, alhamdulillah, in this day to share the love of Allah with yourself and your family, but also your neighbor near and far. Maybe there's somebody here. They're, not, they're away from their country. They don't have the love of their family. Invite them today to come in and celebrate Eid with you. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will join us like he joined the people on Hajj. On the plain of Arafah, one day Allah will join all of us. Inshallah, but we pray that the Allah will forgive us of our sins. And on that day, enter us into his Jannah, Ma'abrar. May Allah reward you, alhamdulillah. Blessings to you this day of Eid. 
Eid Mubarak, Ante Bikhair. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make all of your deeds good. Akulu kawli hadha, asafu alaykum. Salaamu alaykum wa rahmatullah, Eid Mubarak. Eid Mubarak with the, uh, this is the Moroccan Sahara. Look, we have to, today, I, I, I had this last Eid. This Eid, the brother told me, he said, you have to go to the other part of Morocco. So I went to more north, inshallah. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Eid Mubarak. Qul antum khair. Inshallah. And it's all about what? What is the word today? What's the word today? Eid Mubarak. Alhamdulillah. What's my word for today, brother? Come on. Love, that's what it's all about. Alhamdulillah. Wa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Allah wa sallam. Eid Mubarak. Qul antum khair. You need a... Allah. Oh, 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 oh. We have to start here. Because this is where the hub is. Allah Akbar. Akramakullah. Eid Mubarak. Alhamdulillah. Faris, subhanallah. Eid Mubarak. Alhamdulillah. Salam. Salam alaykum. Eid Mubarak. Amma salamatullah. Eid Mubarak. Eid Mubarak. Alhamdulillah. Eid Mubarak. Salam alaykum. Man, this man is so sharply dressed, subhanallah. Eid Mubarak. Smiling to him. Eid Mubarak. Kulandu khair. Assalamu alaikum, Eid Mubarak. Eid Mubarak, you say. Oh, see, you jump in the line. Huh? They're not going to love you if you jump the line. Salatu Allah, Eid Mubarak. Salatu Allah. Allah, Akramak Allah. Akramak Allah. Eid Mubarak, you say. Kulandu khair. Allah Akbar. Yeah. Yeah. And, and you, you know I love you, man. Yeah. Always when I see you, I, f I feel it. Let me get a point. Yo, Kudba. I love it, see. Inshallah, may Allah accept it. Sada Ikrim. Khalat wa khair. Alhamdulillah. Muhammad, do you know you have the world's most famous name? More people in the world name your name than any people in the world. So expect great things from you, Muhammad. Akramakallah, Sada. Inshallah, Akramakallah. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. Allah, Kareem. Alhamdulillah. Heid Mubarak. Heid Mubarak.